quick match number one, and they are showing why they did so, because they're able to get that first super tube up there, they pick up a second on there, on their way. It's a three over two, Rock Hogs. Blue Lions had an over two of their own. To the Red Alliance is three, and the tell-off rate period has begun. And a great throw for the, for the Red Alliance here in play, hurling that blue square out on the other side of the field. So the to pick up, and they get it on to the rack. Dino three does as well. 11-14 now grabs a red triangle and puts it onto the top rack with an over two. It's up there and it is gonna stay. Blue Lions has one blue square to speak of on their top rack and 10-30 is trying to give a friend in a red triangle. 15-03 with a white circle now. They're both two-thirds of the way done with their first logo. Same thing to go for the Blue Lions. They have one first logo all the way and all they need is a white square. And 1503 is able to complete the first first logo, and 14 is able to complete the second first logo. You better find another place to store your goods, because the top shelf is full. And 1114 is putting stuff on the middle row as well. Blue Lions is, able, is on the verge of completing the first first logo, and they do. There is 45 seconds left, and a blue square was placed on the middle row. And 11-14 was able to successfully push back that blue square, so we didn't get any funny ideas about going off. So now we have the verge of a third logo on the way for the Red Alliance. The Blue Alliance is trying to get something together, but there's a little bit of a jam up in the middle there. That's 34-92, playing for defense on 38. 11-14 is the line up for some mini ball action. And there we go, the mini-boss, one, two, three, four, five, the blue lines are trying to get there as the board as well. Unable to be done. There were zero penalties that last match. Go me!